best of fives. We might actually have uh, Froden and Clutch jumping in as well. Uh, I, I don't think so. No? Because, I, I, I mean, I just talked to Dan and he was like, no, nah, man. No? It's all you, bro. Wow. Selfish. Maybe we can get the NASL sound guy to cast for us. That would be pretty awesome. TT1, are you here? T <laughs> Uh, well, man, at least we got great games coming ahead of us. This is the first map between MMA, who's playing under the account of Mavengeance against MVP Tails. I'm excited. The winner is going to Lone Star Clash. Why not talk, talk once more about the promotion that we got going on, Ben? Since yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and pop that up on the string on the screen for the first couple of minutes of this game. It's not going to matter too much unless we have something crazy. In that case, we oh will... Oh, my God, it's 11-11. <laughs> in, in that case, we will immediately jump back in the game. It's 11-11 rescue. Next is first. Tails hold miraculously, but you guys missed it. Welcome to game number and two. As soon as Elliot wakes up from whatever the hell he's doing in there, we will get that graphic up on the screen for you guys so we can talk about the Facebook promotion that Cybersports Network is running. Which is an awesome promotion and I really think a great opportunity and I think all you guys should take part of it because I can guarantee you if you are going to Lone Star Clash you are going to have a blast. <laughs> oh, I just keep busting out the rhymes like it ain't time for me to shine. Overtime. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are not very... Oh, so yourself. good. I think you should go to like find some like place to go for a freestyle rap battle and you should enter. Yeah, right. All right Everybody so, uh, in the 313. <laughs> These are the details. If you want to go to the Lone Star Clash, you can get a, you can win a free trip, all expenses paid, flight, travel, and a VIP ticket to the event. Uh, go to the Cybersports Network Facebook page and give them a like. Download this graphic and post it somewhere. Take a picture of it. You know what I would do, Ben? Like if I would live in New York, I would probably put it like at the edge of the Brooklyn Bridge and then make a very beautiful picture at night. I think we should go to the Blizzard headquarters in mm -hmm. Anaheim and just put it on top of like, you know how they have the big statue? The statue outside. Yeah, yeah, put it right there on his face. It's not a bad idea. It'd be pretty cool. Man, Blizzard is going to be so mad at us. It's like suddenly 100 nerds show up and put all these <laughs> <laughs> all over stuff. campus. Blizzard is going to be like freaking Lone Star Clash. They're going to forbid the tournament of <laughs> happening. It's all on us. Then the Rosens will be mad at us and be like, man, you yeah. ruined our tournament. We're like, well, we just tried to help, man. All around the world. Now our secret plan is to make it so they don't have a tournament so we have more viewers that weekend. <laughs> no. <laughs> that'd, be so, that'd be so mean. Wow, that was an evil laugh, man. You have a dark that's side. My, that's my that was your dark. I have a dark side. You, you have, have a dark side. Me? Yeah, you. Why? What did I ever do? I don't know. I'm don't sure you did something dark. Why? <laughs> no. I'm a pure soul. <laughs> <laughs> I can look in the mirror every night knowing that I'm a good person, man. I know that you can say the same. No, I don't really. I, mean, I don't lose any sleep at night. I mean, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a. You are cold. We have a proxy factory going on here by MMA Ben. I'm a little bit. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna see some elevator heli in play. Maybe he's gonna proxy star with but that's so risky. Maybe he's just gonna only keep the factory over here. Uh, nope. No, maybe he's just only gonna proxy the star with and try to get some really quick benches out. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if Tails realizes something's up yet or not. He is yeah. moving back. Across the map. Good old MMA. Mm. Gonna yeah, wipe in the robotics something. facility pretty quick, so that's at least. Yeah, well, I won't say that's sort of okay. He's not gonna be able to deal a whole lot of damage over here, as the zealot won't be able to reach the marines. He did pick off one marine with stalker, but the marine for a zealot, not the best trade. Has to be careful with his stalker as well. Still, still completely unaware of what's going on. It will be Hellion drop, for sure. Yeah, uh, we have no add-ons going on. The second Hellion's popping out here. Medivac's about to start up. Probably going to be three, maybe four Hellions. Should be four, Ben. Should be. Could be, might be. Might go for three as well if he wants to just do it as quick as possible. Yeah. Warpgate is um, about to finish up, though. So if he warps in three stocks, he might be able to deal with this. I've seen him play his defenders a few times. Certainly MC is one of those guys who just... Like, I know that I would end up losing 15 probes, and then I would like, yeah, you see, now, like, one of these good probes players is going to die to it, too. And then they drop a force field, and somehow just don't end up losing a single probe, or maybe lose, like, three probes, and I'm just sitting there, it's like, that makes no sense at all. If this happens to me, I know I'm going to end up losing a lot of stuff. Uh, three Hellions. the SCV as well. Yeah, well. That's interesting. Oh, uh, that's not a good weapon, man. That's two Zealots, so now he only has one Stalker on the map. Actually, Tills is going to lose a lot of probes over here against MMA. Oh, and he's being very slow to react to this. Hasn't pulled anything at all. No. This SCV is just like along for the ride, man. This is a rotty defense. Uh, fantastic amounts of damage being dealt. This is how I defend. Hey, would the SCV repair the Hellions while they're in the meta bank? No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It might. No, that's nuts. That'd be really cool. I mean, it seems like it should. What? Because. 
because he has time to do parries. Yeah, because I mean he's just sitting. No, there and man, he's sitting next to the medic. He's hitting on the medic while the no, aliens medic, are stuck in the cargo. No, medic would never date an SCV, man. Why? He only dates a tour. Yeah, yeah medic they, they always fall for the jackasses. Yeah, they're into like the the, the bad boys. The bad boys, exactly. <laughs> the SCV is the guy that never really wanted to go to war in the first place. <laughs> now here he is having to ride around behind enemy lines. He's bitter about life right uh, now, man. Tills knows that he's in a bad position right now, Ben, so he's going to try to counter, but um, May, of course, is smart. He does have a bunker over. He has enough Marines as well. Doesn't have a whole lot of production working for him, but it's good enough. Three more uh, stocks being wiped in. Double Orbital is the follow-up, by the way, for MMA. And MMA, of course, can be very, very pleased with the amount of damage that he dealt. It's not, I mean, this is very good, don't get me wrong, but it's also not like insanely good, absolutely 100% game over. Why is Tills not chronoblisting anything, but Well, if he keeps giving... Okay, Tills is going to go all out. He's not even going to try to make probes. So, I guess in this case it is over. He's going to try to boss MMA. MMA is going to build a lot of bunkers. Don't salvage this bunker. Whatever you do, MMA, at all costs. And then uh, you mm. should be fine. Tails has an observer right over top of this. Oh, so he knows exactly force fields, what's force coming fields. in. If these bunkers finish, it's going to be great. If they don't finish, it's going to be terrible. One bunker does complete. Yeah, but there are no SVs over here. Nothing there to repair. Uh, MMA knows exactly. MMA how doesn't even have to expand on this moment. Yeah, he's just going to. Man, that was so good by MMA to just immediately evacuate. Uh, so easy. A little bit risky, though. He only has one bunker here. And he has two uh, tech labs going on, so right now he has no production, man. All that he's able to produce is two Marines at the same time. He's going to drop another uh, bunker. Fortunately for MMA, he's going for triple orbital, so his economy is going to be more than fine. Oh, this is getting dicey. He's still, uh, Tills is not producing any pros, man, so uh -oh, he's super all in. And there's no wall as well. There's so many Marines, though. Lots of uh, SCVs here. Those are really nice force fields. And this bunker is definitely uh -oh. going to fall. Those Marines are going to come out on the wrong side. SCVs is going to come and get into the fight. No, don't go down. You have to stay up, um, uh, Tills. You have to stay up. If he wants to win this game, Ben, he's going to have to do it right here and right now. A couple of Marauders just Marauders. popped out. They're going to help out a ton. There's also a medevac in production. All SCVs should just be pulled right now. MMA should just pull all the SCVs. If you survive this, MMA, you're fine. Oh, and he will survive. MMA, so good. Tills is still on 17 probes. And MMA is still on 24 SCVs. And He's triple in orbital, shape. man. He's on triple orbital. You know what triple orbital does? It's about three mules at a time. Or three scans at a time. No. That's not possible. It is. No. You want to bet? Yeah. I bet if I build three orbitals, I can scan three I times. bet that you won't be able to scan three times when you text them. I bet I can't. Repair going down, Till still trying to bust the front line of MMA, but that's not going to work. Once this bunker ends up with the Marauders in the bunker, of course, Marauders having superb damage on these Stalkers. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's all over, man. It's all over but the crying. That's exactly what we say back home in the Southland, Kev. Tails has no chance of getting up this ramp. No, what he does have going for him is uh, nothing. Oh, hmm. there was another drop in the main base. I did not know that. Actually, Tails, okay, Tails end up losing four more probes. Uh, he's back to 15 right now, producing two more. Uh, Tills is going to try to contain MMA. Does he know about... No, he doesn't know about this orbital. He thinks he's playing against double orbital, in which he's in bad shape, but not impossible, I guess. But actually, he's playing against triple orbital, which means that uh, he's in very, very bad yeah, shape. Yeah, MMA could even float down to this six-ish, just straight south to if this If I was MMA, MMA I, would just I would take this orbital ban and I would land it here. <laughs> just do it. Land it right next to Tails' natural command center? Yeah. Just drop mules there? If I was the orbital, I would land right here and start dropping mules here. As is saying, like, hey, I'm winning this game. He's gonna try to steam down the ramp. Force shoot could go down. Yeah, that was That's predictable for us. Uh, a couple of marauders left in a precarious spot on the low ground. One will survive. One goes down. Mm, there's just no damage in his oh army no! of kills. Kills really has to back off uh, if he doesn't drop perfect, perfect force shields. Because even if he lets three marauders go through, those three marauders then will kill those four stalkers. Uh, if they are under the effect of steam and medifacts are healing them. MMA is so confident right now, salvaging his bunkers. Of course he can. Double eBay going up as well. Great defense by MMA, Ben. Great opening. Uh, Tills just had the wrong units in the start. He was clueless, had no idea what he was facing. Was caught completely off guard. And the moment you don't have stocks to deal with those aliens, Ben, you're in a world of trouble. Tails trying to get up some higher tech. Robotics Bay is going down. If he can get a couple Colossi out, then maybe, just maybe, he can make it further in this game, but it's going to be tough as the MMA is now out on the map, and I think we're about to see the Terran player getting a little aggressive. And when MMA gets aggressive, Kevin, bad things happen. Yes, I don't want to see an aggressive MMA. Bad things happen to good people. You know what also is scary? When Nurture gets mad. Man, when Nurture gets mad.
Because Nurture just wins every game he plays if he gets mad. <laughs> and May is going to go up to three bases. Because Nurture the other week, man, he played a Zotac and he did not win it. So he yeah, got mad. Yeah, imagine how mad he was. Nurture has won like 17 Zotac Cups. Something ridiculous like that. Oh, Colossus really? is on the way for MVP Tails, but man, it's as likely that Tails is going to win this game as it was that MMA was able to defend my Void Ray all in on Metalopolis, <laughs> which was not very likely, also did not happen. <laughs> and I don't think that Tails is going to win this game either. Man, I miss Metalopolis. <laughs> <laughs> it was so awesome to Void Ray all in people. You know, I can't even remember the last time I did a Void Ray all in. All the maps are so bad for the all ins right now. I'm actually having to mark them. Sad yeah, man. This was not what I signed up for. I like short games. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Well, partly. <laughs> there is a Colossus out. That's going to make it harder for MMA to attack. Supplies are also evening up. Yeah, but he's still so far ahead, man. Uh, the army is so much stronger off MMA. The Marauders will rip right through that Colossus. He has, of course, with perfect force shields, he could, like, bit by bit. Take the army of MMA apart, but MMA's economy is so much better. Everything is just so much better for MMA. Beautiful base as well, man. I love a Terran player who knows how to line up his Rex's band. Shows signs of a true man who can take care of his wife. <laughs> I wish I had a follow-up to that. We know that MMA is a man that can take care of his wife because he's won a lot of prize money. <laughs> yes, that keeps every wife happy. I really love like this. It also so makes the prize money go away fast. Yes. <laughs> I really love the interviews with some of those like girlfriends who are like girlfriends of super famous pro gamers who, is, who won like over like two hundred thousand dollar prize money. It's like, oh yeah, I support my boyfriend. And then my boy the boyfriend is like, yeah, I'm so lucky to find a girl that supports my pro gaming. It's like, well, you have a pretty weird girlfriend if she doesn't support you winning over two hundred k a year. <laughs> it's like, I may hope that she supports it. What else does she want? She wants you to go into the social service. <laughs> Doesn't really make a lot of sense. I'm pretty sure I would support the programming girls, uh, programming dreams of my girlfriend if she makes 200 grand a year. <laughs> Hell, she could become a stripper if she makes 200 grand a year. I still support that. <laughs> Is that a bad thing to say, man? I think uh, I think it's a great thing to say, Kev. Oh yeah. MMA is starting to ramp up you the know, Viking production. A long time ago, like I, when I used to live with the Muslim, we were always joking about how awesome it would be to have a stripper girlfriend. <laughs> and then once upon a time we were in the tram in Cologne. Well, this game just like nothing is happening, so I can tell the story. And uh, we met a couple of students uh, from the University of Cologne. And they're like, yeah, okay, we're having, a, we're doing a little research. Uh, we are wondering what kind of, uh, what do you guys find attractive as a job profession for your girlfriend? And then Ben looks at me and he's like, stripper. <laughs> and we say that, and the girls think like, ah, oh, immature kids. And like, nah, guys, seriously, like, what kind of jobs do you find attractive? Like something that. Uh, you think is uh, perhaps sexy or that makes you feel attracted to the girl or something that you're proud of to tell to your friends. Ben, and then the Muslim looks at me, he's like, I'm still thinking stripper. <laughs> and we both started laughing so extremely hard. And the girls, they got really mad. And then they're like, okay, could you guys give us a serious answer as well? We're like, well, we're actually pretty serious. But uh, other than that, we said like, ah, maybe teacher. And they're like, oh my God, we're starting to become a teacher. Thank you, Kevin. And we're like, okay, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> and then he's like, now that I think about it, a stripper teacher would be nice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was really funny. Ben and me laughed so much about it. It's really fun because just by coincidence, we were talking about it like that week, and then those girls asked us that exact question. And the way that Ben said, when it, like after they uh, called out all the things, when it's like, okay, something that you think it's like cool, sexy, and that you're proud to tell your friends about. <laughs> and the way that Ben looked at me, he's like, I'm still thinking stripper. <laughs> and the girls, did, they're like, ah, oh, those boys are so immature. And we had so much fun, Ben. MMA is playing uh, very passively yeah. here, Kevin. He just wants to macro up to an unstoppable size. He's sort of reached that mass as his Viking count now at eight. His Marauder count is through the roof. Eight against f uh, eight Vikings against four Colossus is not that uh, insane, though. Obviously, it's okay, but it's not great. And there are a lot of Zealots to soak up some damage from these Marauders as well. Charge is ready, Ben. And here we go. Marauder is going to be kiting backwards. Colossi not in the fight at all. Actually, yeah. uh, Tails is misplaying this terribly. Yeah, but he didn't really have a chance to win this uh, fight in all honesty. He tries, Ben, but he's going to end up losing all the Colossus, loses uh, all the Stalkers. I don't know if you saw that as well, but like 
he kind of used attack move on all the zealots, so they stormed in and then immediately he pulled them back. So charge activated and then goes on cooldown. And then when he actually really wanted to fight, the zealots were not yeah. charging in. But I don't think it really made a difference. He was so extremely far behind. Beautiful concave, of course, by MMA while I was telling stories about me and the Muslim in Germany. But uh, it didn't really matter. Let's MMA be honest, was so far people ahead. tune in for the stories, Kev. Yeah, I mean. Okay. MMA goes up 1-0 over Tails in this best of five. Lots more StarCraft still to come from the North American Star League and from the Lone Star Clash.